Garfish, otherwise known as needlefish, are abundant in our waters in the summer and autumn months, and they offer anglers of all ages good sport and fun. They can be caught from harbour walls, beaches or off the rocks, using simple methods such as float fishing or spinning. Many people are put off eating garfish because of their green bones and scales, however, they are a good eating fish and can be boiled, fried baked, barbecued or smoked. I regularly eat garfish when they are available and find they have a sweet meat with a good texture and this is one way of preparing and cooking them. Now for the preparation of the garfish. It's already been gutted just after I caught it down at the coast but what I want to do now is scale it now the scales of garfish are very very loose and therefore it's easy to scale. So it's just a matter of taking a knife and then just running the knife backwards along the fish to take, take all the scales off and then give it a good wash. Now I'm going to fillet the fish and one of the secrets of making filleting fish a lot easier is having a really good filleting knife and a very very sharp filleting knife and it does make life a lot easier. But one thing I say before I fillet it is there is a, a limit on the size of the garfish to make it sort of viable to, to fillet the fish and get enough meat. And I would say that they've got to be at least about 50 centimetres long. And this one is, is that, it's just over 50 centimetres. Anything less than that, and they're just not worth filleting. You're just not gonna, not gonna get, get enough meat off of them. But to fillet them, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start at the head here, just behind the gills, and then just cut back, and then turn the knife, and then slide the knife along the backbone. And because the knife is, is nice and sharp, it actually makes that process easy. So that's one beautiful fillet. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same the other side. Again, starting at the head, behind the gills, just cut back, turn the knife, and then slide it along the backbone. You can feel the backbone, you can probably hear it as well as I'm filleting it. You can feel it as you're sliding the knife along. And that's the other, other lovely fillet. Now most of the green bones that put people off eating garfish are in the belly section here with some along, along the lateral line. So what I'm, what I'm going to do next is, actu is actually just take off this belly section along here, along the lateral line, and then just come along here to, to the vent. Because all of this meat that runs along the back of the garfish, and this meat in the towel is absolutely lovely and, and virtually bone free. So again, making sure the knife is nice and sharp, I'm just gonna start just behind the pin bones here at the lateral line and cut back at a slight angle, rather than straight like that, cut back at a slight angle so I don't lose any of the meat. And then just cut along that lateral line, just behind those pin bones. And then when I get to the, to the back of the, be the belly section here, just turn the knife
And that's virtually all the bones eliminated. And, and all we're left with is a, just, just want this wonderful piece of meat here and then the, the towel meat. I'll probably just trim, trim these fins off just to neaten it up. Once again, just cut in just behind the pin bones until I get to the, the back of the belly where at the vent and then just turn the knife and finish there. For this recipe, the fillets are going to be coated and then shallow fried, pan fried in some good quality olive oil. Olive oil. So I'm just going to portion them, the fillets up into suitable sizes. Now it's just a matter of washing them and they'll be ready for me to pop in the fridge while I pre prepare the rest of the ingredients. Well, they look a bit more edible now and I see no green bones, well, hardly any. So get these in the fridge and with some others that I've already done and we'll have a look at the ingredients that, that I'm going to be using. And those ingredients are some freshly squeezed lemon juice from half a lemon, some ground sea salt, some freshly ground black pepper, about a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, some plain flour for coating the fish. I've got about 10 to 15 grams of unsalted butter about half a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley and about a quarter to half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper depending on your taste. And the idea is that the fish fillets will be placed in a bowl, add the, the lemon juice, season with some sea salt and black pepper and some cayenne pepper and some parsley, mix that up and just leave the fish to marinate in that for about 10 to 15 minutes before it's then coated in the flour and then pan fried, shallow fried with a mixture of olive oil and the unsalted butter. it easy to coat the fillets with flour I've just popped the flour into a Tupperware box and pop the fillets in then on with the lid and then just give it a good shake you could also of course use a bag And there they are nicely coated in the flour. All right, we're ready to cook. So. In with the olive oil. And then in with the butter. Now I don't want to do this over too high a heat. So I don't, I don't want the butter burning just want it just want it sizzling and then in with our fillets of fish i'm just going to start these off skin side down and depending on the thickness of the fillets they probably only take about a mini mini each side 
but really important not to let the butter have the heat too high and let the and so the butter burns so I don't want the butter to burn now depending on the size of the pan of course you may have to do these in two batches and not to put too many in the pan at once so that's what I'm going to do I've got most of the fillets in but I'll probably cook these and then keep them warm and then and then finish off with the rest of the fillets well these look like they're ready to turn now they probably had about a minute and a half so I'm just going to turn them over to finish them off lovely and golden and crispy on the skin side and they won't take long now to finish off well that's it that's the first batch done so just get those onto a plate don't they look delicious absolutely wonderful golden color so I'll do the next batch, just got a few more to do, and then they'll be ready to serve. But in the, in the meantime, we'll just keep these warm. Now, of course, you could serve this in many different ways. You could just have a couple of fillets with, with some nice bread as a first course, or you could have it with new potatoes and a salad, whatever is your choice. But it's fish, chips and peas night in this household tonight, or should I say garfish, chips and peas. But garfish is definitely worth having. If you know what to do with it, you, could, you prepare it. There's lots of different ways you can cook it. And as I said earlier, now I see no green bones and I can promise you this is gonna be absolutely delicious. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching.